Inspire Africa Women series on IFN TV is brought to you by First Atlantic Bank. Oh, I can do some letter this. So how about this? No, no, this one is not. Francisca Oteng Mensa took the headlines in Africa in 2016 when she became Ghana's youngest member of parliament and indeed one of the youngest politicians on the African continent, defeating a leading incumbent member of parliament in her party's primaries and then going into the main election to defeat the ruling party's candidate under the new patriotic party. Then a law student at the University of Ghana, Legon, now 24, Honorable Francisca Oteng Mensa spoke to IFN TV on what the journey has been like so far since she was elected into power, her challenges and her success since being voted into power to represent the people of Kwabre East constituency in the Ashanti region of Ghana. My name is Francisca Otemensa, MP for Kwabre East. Um, I must say this is a very broad question why I decided to go into politics. I believe politics is an opportunity where you can help a lot of people because you get a, a lot of opportunities from um, NGOs, from government institutions, from international organizations and the rest. So I believe politics gives me the platform to help more people. And as a person, I've always had the interest to help a lot of people because of probably from my family background or from the fact that I'm into a lot of philanthropic works. So this is a great opportunity for me. And secondly, I think I have a passion for it. Since childhood, I've always wanted to be a politician. And I believe I'm living my dream. I must say it wasn't easy and it's still not easy. Uh, looking at the fact that I'm a woman, and of a young age, which is of course it's also an issue. Not only the fact that I have issues of the fact that I'm a woman, I also have issues of the fact that I'm a youth. The perception out there is um, being a youth, you can't reason or take good decisions. And the other perception is that being a woman, you are not really having that capacity to take up such leadership rules. So it wasn't easy, to be honest with you. But I think one thing that helped me was the fact that I was always determined to achieve my dream because I always had a passion to do politics. And I had a very supportive family who were ready and willing to support me in any uh, thing I found myself in. And so I think that is one thing that kept me going. If not that, the political life or the political uh, job, let me put it that way. It's not an easy task for a woman, especially in Africa. You need a lot of things. You need resources. And I mean, how many women have the, the resources, enough resources to go into politics? I think each day is challenging. Each, each day there are new steps coming your way, which are very, very challenging. And so, um, I think most of it, or one thing that I think uh, has, is a challenge to almost every female politician, is the fact that uh, you, are, you have limited resources. If you don't have people to support you, it's not easy trying to make something out of this profession. It's not easy at all. And the fact that uh, people always have their doubts that once you're a woman, probably you went to sleep with someone to get to where you are and all those things. I think basically those are challenging times. And the fact that uh, because you are, you are young or you are youth, some people think what you're saying doesn't make sense. But after they listen to you for a while, and they start to realize, yes, this person is trying to talk some sense. I think basically it's, it's always difficult getting people's attention. Um, especially when you're putting across an idea, something which is so different from the usual things that people do. It, it, it takes time before people get to understand it. Um, as a woman, there are some issues that once somebody hits you with it, you get, no matter who you are, you get affected. And most of these 
uh, things that come out. There are things that they want to hurt you with it, tarnish your image. This is an image you've used so many years or you've made so much effort to build. If something is to pierce into it a little, even look at the skin. If somebody just take a small needle and pierce your, your, your hand, the pains that you receive when they pierce in your head is the same thing. We meet that, I think I meet that a lot, but I just see that to be uh, occupational have hazard, so I don't really pay so much attention to you. meet that, I mean, people try to take advantage of you, you know, they always think you are in for those things, but I just see that to be an occupational hazard. I don't really pay so much attention. If you look at that, trust me, you won't go for it. Well, it will, it will not be easy. I'll, I think I'll take this opportunity and uh, commend uh, former first, oh, yes, former first lady Nana Kunedwa Jemai Rollins, which I think you can see her picture there. I took an award and she was the one who presented the award. She's one of my mentors, a very great woman. It's not easy, like I said, in Africa, as a woman taking up leadership roles. It's likely that we can have I mean, uh, a president in Ghana. If Liberia has been able to do it, why can't we also do it in Ghana? So it's it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be, to be honest with you, it's not going to be easy, but I'm hoping that uh, very soon we get any of our beautiful ladies in parliament or our beautiful political women to take up this, this idea. Looking at me, 24, uh, and the constitution allows you to contest that um, presidency at the age of 40. I think I still have a lot of years. So. You have it at the back of your mind that I'm nurturing myself for this kind of position. And I'm, I think I'm still looking around to see how best, uh, I mean, you need to weigh your chances and all those things. But definitely, what I want is I want to make a contribution to the development of the country. So if at a point in time, Ghanaians or people think I should go higher, I'm sure they will start making that, that cry. Yeah. Wow, hmm. that's a question. I think if if um, I'm, I remember, I think I saw a documentary on um, late Nelson Mandela, who was giving a statement. He was asked the same question: "What you'll be remembered for?" So I think I'll borrow his words, not exactly his words, but I think I, I will remember some aspect of it. And one thing I remember, which I think is applicable to me, is that being remembered for. It's not about you, it's about the people who are going to remember you. Because at the end of the day, they are the main reason why you are going through these stress, you are going through this trauma. Just to put something on the table, or just to make a living, or uh, make a difference. So I think it's up to the people to decide what they want to remember me for. But one thing that I think uh, Nelson Mandela said, which I, I would say is very advisable to every person in that. I mean, as a politician, it doesn't mean you're an angel. You are just an ordinary human being. Um, you know, you can make mistakes and you have the right to correct those mistakes. So, to remember it for, I think I'll leave that to the people. I think, first of all, there's no, there's no formula in being a politician, to be honest with you. There's no formula because each and every community, there are ways and means to tackle that particular community. So there's no formula, to be honest with you. The only thing, the only advice that I'll give to my my young ladies or my young women who also want to go into politics is that they should have a top skin and they should be ready to take in anything. I always say that if you're a politician, you are more or less like a refuse dump. Anybody at all can just come and dump their refuse. Just as when you go to the refuse site where 
I mean, once it's waste, I'm coming to dump it there. And that is politics for you. People can say all kinds of things about you on radio, write articles about you in the newspaper. And I mean, they have no, no reason for doing that. They just punish your image just like that. So you should have a tough skin and you should be ready to, to overcome any of these challenges. Mm -hmm.